Richard. So you've heard part of our conversation here, uh, Representative. What's your thought here? Do you share the concerns of some of your colleagues that we've played a little bit right here? Do you believe that something needs to be done in Congress about this? Oh, absolutely, especially knowing that the next target was New York City and Times Square. One thing that Congress can do right now is pass the gun safety laws. As it stands right now, the next Tamerlan kill a gun show and buy all the guns he wants, all, all the weapons he wants, and uh, no problem, no questions asked. I think at the very least, Congress should pass sensible gun safety laws that law enforcement is asking for. Law enforcement really wants the bill that actually I authored it, uh, several years ago that would make trafficking in guns a felony. I mean, how dumb can we be? <laughs> well, let's stop this. And, and raises the penalties on straw purchasers. So the bad guys that are buying guns for other bad guys well, know that they're going to get more than a slap on the wrist well, yeah, and be in the slammer. And talk That's more, important. And talk more about that. You gave a very passionate speech uh, on the floor on Friday, and your concerns there were making that connection between uh, gun legislation as well as what has happened in Boston. It, Exactly. Dig deeper into that. Exactly. As it stands right now, Tamerlan, as we know now, was on the terrorist watch list. So we know a gun, a gun check would stop him if there was a background check. But as it stands now, Tamerlan or the next Tamerlan or Lanza or the next terrorist can go to any gun show and buy a hundred rounds a, a hundred round magazine. They can buy all the assault weapons they want. No questions asked. The gun lobby has the upper hand now, even though 90% of Americans want gun safety. This in no way infringes on the right of uh, law-abiding Americans to have guns for self-protection, to go hunting, or whatever purpose. But for the terrorists, for the bad guys, let's pass sensible gun safety legislation. And all of us need to turn up the heat on this, the president, legislators, because it's not poll numbers, it's not politics, it's lives. Well, 30,000 people died last year uh, because of gun violence. Let's try to close some of those loopholes. What do you make of Mike McCall's statement about there being a possibility of a wider conspiracy?